Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So if you guys have watched my last few videos, um, my cash envelope stuffing video, and I think I may have mentioned it in my budget video perhaps. Um, but anyways, I have been waiting for this thing to come in the mail and I've been so excited about it. Um, so this is the Recollections Creative Year uh, Planner and I got this from Michael. Uh, or Michael, it's not Michael, and I will uh, post a link in the description below. Um, but I have been wanting to kind of convert my sinking funds um, from just the regular cash envelopes that I do, like these ones, um, where they're not hole punched or anything, and I just keep them at home, um, the sinking funds I do. So I've been wanting to convert them into hole punch uh, sinking funds for my cash envelopes and store them in this recollections binder. So this specific one, um, I don't necessarily know what color you would call this, but it's really pretty. It's like a metallic-y, really light purple color. Um, so it's really pretty. The size is perfect. Um, it doesn't necessarily say the exact size on it, but I would say this would be like a A5 or an A6 sized um, binder. So I just got this in the mail. It was supposed to be here Friday, and I was going to do my video then um, so that I could have it when I did my cash envelope stuffing, but then it got delayed, and it didn't get here until today, which is Monday. So... I am so excited to show you guys this, and then after I show it to you, I want to actually set up my sinking funds in my new um, sinking funds binder. Um, so we'll get to that in a second, but we're just going to open it up here. I'm going to take this little tape off of the uh, snap button. So you open it up, um, and I'm going to get rid of this so you guys can actually see. And the first thing it has is over here. It has a bigger pocket and then three smaller pockets. It does not go, like that's literally all the farther they go in. So it's probably for like business cards or you could put like a credit card or something in there. So those do not go in very far. And then this one goes all the way down. So it has those four pockets there and then the big pocket. And then you have your six ring binder and we'll just flip to the end here. Um, looks like you have a pen holder, another pocket, which that probably goes all the way down. Um, you could probably put like a, like one of those longer notepads there. Um, and then it has a pocket right there as well. So it's got quite a few storage pockets in there. Um, I'm not quite sure what I am going to do with those yet. Um, but that's okay, I'll figure it out. So as far as the contents of the planner, so this is what you get with the planner when you purchase it. Um, or I guess I'll close that. So it looks like you get three different um, dividers. So this one says make great things happen. And then you have this one that's just a gold foil stripe. And then you have this one that says believe the very best. And they, they're like a frosted, but they're plastic um, and little tabs that you can write things on. And then it looks like you, got, you have some to-do list front and back. Are these all to-do list? Oh. So you have to-do list, and then you have the dotted grid sheets. You have a stack of those, and then you have just some plain notebook paper. So that is everything that comes with the Recollections Planner. They had this in a bunch of different colors. I think there was like, um, like a mint color, like almost the color of my billfold. Um, they had a purple, they had like an ivory, just like this, like the metallic-y cover, but it was more of like an ivory or a white. Um, I think they had black, they had like a really light colored yellow, so tons of colors to choose from. And it was, well with shipping, it was like $22. I think the planner itself was only, gosh, like $14 or $15, but then it was I think six or seven dollars for shipping, so kind of a lot for the shipping. Um, but the planner itself was really inexpensive. So if you have a Michaels close to you, um, I would definitely go check it out and see if they have it there. That way you could avoid the shipping charges. Um, but I am so excited to use this. So I think what I'm going to do, well first I'll show you my envelopes. 
set this aside for a second. So up until now I have only sold and in my Etsy shop and only used the envelopes like this where the envelope itself is laminated um, and then they just go in a billfold or a pocket of some sort. Um, so these are the ones that I have sold in my Etsy shop and used um, ever since I started using cash envelopes. But when I decided to change my sinking fund system into a binder style, I went ahead and started hole punching them. So I just added a little more lamination and don't mind all the holes in this one. Um, my first batch, the sizing was not right, but I have that fixed now. Um, so the lamination is about an, a little over an inch thicker on the bottom. That way it would allow for me to hole punch them so that they would fit into the binder. So these are all of my sinking funds that I have. Um, so I have quite a few. So I'm going to go ahead and put those in the binder. Um, and while I'm talking about my cash envelopes here, you can purchase these in my Etsy shop, which I will link in the description below. So if you order the cash envelopes, they are sold individually because I have a ton, a ton, a ton of different designs of envelopes. Um, so there's, first of all, two types of the envelopes that you can get. Actually, there's more than that, but you can get them personalized to where each um, envelope has its own category. So like here I have spending, groceries, and gas. Or you can get this label blank and you just use a Erin Condren wet erase marker or any wet erase marker and you can write what you want the label to be. And then you just use a wipe to wipe it off when you're done. Um, it stays on there, it doesn't smear, it doesn't rub off like a dry erase marker would. So that's the front of the envelopes. And then on the back of the envelopes, you can either get it plain, like all of these ones, or you can get it with a tracker. So this is also laminated, so again, you're using your wet or your dry, no, wet erase marker. Um, and it has the date column, the amount column, and the total column. So like this one is my Christmas uh, sinking fund. So every time I take money out or put money in, I write a transaction in here that way. I don't have to count the money every time I want to know how much is in there. I can just easily glance at the back and know what is in there, when I took it out, when I put it in, etc. So as far as the envelope goes, that's your choices. So you can either get it personalized or blank, and then you can get it with a tracker or without a tracker. Now, I have also added a, a single listing for the hole punch. So what you do, if you want to have your sinking funds hole punched like these are here to where they would work in a binder such, such as this one, you want to add into your cart the envelopes that you wish to purchase and then you would select whether you want them personalized or whether you want the trackers on back. Once you have done that, you need to go to the hole punch listing which I have also linked the direct link for that listing in the description below. You'll want to go to that listing and add the hole punch listing for as many envelopes as you want hole punched. So say I have three envelopes in my cart right now. I am going to get them all personalized and I'm going to get them without the tracker. Then I'm going to go add the listing for the hole punch and I'm going to add three of them because I want three envelopes hole punched. Um, if you are only going to get a few of the envelopes hole punched but not all of them, just make sure you specify which ones you want hole punched. Um, because like these three here are my expenses sink or uh, cash envelopes. So I am not going to hole punch these because I like to keep them in my billfold. Um, so I don't put trackers on the back of them and I do not hole punch them. I normally just put the receipt in with the envelope um, and obviously I don't need a hole punch because my billfold is not a binder billfold. But my actual sinking funds, which are these ones here, I do have trackers on the back of all of them. They are all personalized with the category that they are and they are all hole punched. So that is how you would go about ordering the cash envelopes and whether you want it personalized, whether you want a tracker, and then what you need to do if you want them hole punched. So go check out my Etsy shop 
after this video, of course, which I, like I said, the um, link is in the description below. But let's go ahead and get started with filling or setting up this sinking fun binder, which again, I am so excited about this. Okay, so I think what I am going to do, I think I am going to utilize the dividers that they have, and then if I decide at a later point to take them out, I will. So I will leave the first one there, um, and I'm gonna put my sinking funds in right away. Now I have them in alphabetical order except for the last one and I'll show you that in a second. So um, so in alphabetically in alphabetic order I have my Christmas sinking fund, car maintenance, gifts, household, kids, medical, personal care, rent, and then savings. Um, and then at the very end, I'm going to put my debt snowball um, envelope in. Obviously, it's out of alphabetical order, but I like to put that one at the end because if you guys watch my cash envelope stuffing videos, you know that I obviously do this one at the end because it depends on how much money I have left over from um, my three expense um, cash envelopes as to if this one would get any or not. So, we're just going to get started here. So first is gonna be Christmas. So we'll put that one in there. Next is car maintenance. And I wanted it in alphabetical order since my envelopes don't have tabs on the top, which I don't want. Um, I wanted to be able to know roughly where they would be at. So doing it alphabetically order gives me a little bit more of an idea as to where they would be. Um, next is gifts. Oh, this one. Oh, there we go. That must be one that was not cut right. Um, next is household. And then kids. Medical. Personal care. Rent. And savings. And now somebody asked me this uh, just today, I think. Um, my savings has nothing in it. I do have a separate um, savings account through my bank that has my $1,000 emergency savings in it. So I have already saved up for that. So now I'm, you know, on the step two of the baby steps for Dave Ramsey, which is paying off your debt. Um, so what I use the savings one for is whatever money I have left over at the end of the month. Um, in this envelope or in my checking account or whatever, um, I put the majority of it to debt snowball. I do occasionally put some into savings just depending on maybe I use something out of the emergency savings and I need to get it back up to the thousand or if I have a lot of extra income for that month, um, I may put some in there. So I do occasionally put some in here so I do have a savings envelope like I said, it's just blank right now, but that is not for um, my emergency fund. I do already have that set up. And then the last one I'm going to put in here is debt snowball. Um, and I didn't put that savings one in there because I need to fix the holes on that one. That was one more that got messed up and I do not have my hole punch with me right now. So the last one that's going in here is debt snowball. Um, and like I said, I wanted that at the end because I would fill all of these first and then I would know what I was putting in debt snowball. So there are the sinking funds and some of these have quite a bit of money in them so they are pretty, I guess, stuffed very full. Okay, so now what I think I'll do is um, I am going to use, I don't know what I'm gonna use them for, but I think I am gonna keep in the um, like to-do list and the little dotted grids and the notepads. So I think I'll put the to-do list next and then I'm going to put in the last divider and I'll have the dotted grid and the notepad um, in the back there. Like I said, I don't know exactly what I'll do with it. Maybe if I have ideas for additional sinking funds that I want to um, set up or anything like that, um, maybe I'll put that in here. But yeah, that's that. So I'll we'll just take a look here. So let's close it. So this is what it's going to look like. Oh, I hate when the, I hate when binders do that when it gets bent. Okay. 
So this is what it's going to look like when it is closed. Perfect, pretty, and you know, everything stays in there really well. So then we open it up, and then right away we have our first divider, and then we have Christmas, car maintenance, gifts, medical, kids, wait, I meant to say household, kids, medical, personal care, rent, and then savings will go in next once I get that hole punch fixed, and then debt snowball. And then we have our next binder or a divider. We have our to-do list. We have our final divider and our notepads and the dotted grid. So I am very, very happy with the way that it turned out. Um, I am really going to like this that way. If I need to use a sinking fund, um, I can just grab this whole thing quick and take it with me and know that everything's safe inside, or I can just grab money out of there too. Um, so I'm probably actually going to put my wet erase marker in the little pen holder, just because that is the one that I am going to use the most with these. Um, because like I said, every single time I make any sort of transaction, from my sinking funds, whether it be putting money in or taking money out, um, I use the wet erase marker to do so. Um, and you can purchase the wet erase marker on Erin Condren's website. I do have a link in the description below, a referral code if you want to save $10, um, you can use that. But yeah, and while we're at it, if you guys are curious of what the totals are in my sinking funds right now, um, so this one, like I said, is Christmas, has $360 in it. I am going to up the amount that I put in this one. I put, I have been putting $20 in every week. I'm going to up it to $100 just so that I make sure that I am where I want to be when Christmas time comes around. So uh, mainly Black Friday. Um, so I am going to up that to $100. And then whatever I have left over out of my Christmas uh, sinking fund after Christmas is over, I could put towards debt or I could divide them up into some of these other sinking funds or I could put them in my gift sinking funds. So I'll figure that out when it comes if I have money left over. Car maintenance has $70. Um, I put $10 in this one every week and I have not taken anything out um, since I started this one. Gifts, I just started two weeks ago. So this one has 20 and I've been putting $10 in that one every week. Household, I also just started this one two weeks ago. I've been putting 15 in this one, so this one is at 30. Um, kids, I started this one September 6th. It's at $140, and I put $20 in that one every week. Um, medical, I just started this one. It's at 10. I do five in that one every week. Personal care, I just started this one last week, um, this past Friday, so I do 15, so that one's at 15. And then rent is not a sinking fund, obviously, um, but I do take it out in cash because I live in a family-owned house, so I just, I don't keep it in my bank account, I just take it out and I just pay um, my parents. So this one has 150 in it, it'll get another $50 in it next week, and then I'll pay that and then start over. So not a sinking fund, but I do still have it in here. And then we have my debt snowball, which as of last week was at 109. Um, so what I do is every week, whatever money I have left over in my gas, groceries, or spending um, cash envelopes, I take out, I don't roll it over, I take it out, I put it into this debt snowball um, cash envelope and then at the end of the month I take whatever money I have in here and I put it towards an extra debt payment for the month. So I just do one big lump sum payment um, towards whatever debt I'm working on at that particular month. Um, and then like I said savings will go in here between rent and debt snowball for whenever I decide to put extra into savings. So there we have it. Um, I'm so, so, so excited to do this. I was so excited to do this video, and I can't wait to do my cash envelope stuffing videos now um, on Friday and actually be able to use it for the first time. So, thank you. Oh, it's raining really hard outside. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, if 
you are interested in the binder itself, I will post a link in the description below to Michael's. And then, like I said, if you're interested in any of the envelopes, I have tons and tons and tons of designs and styles on my website or on my Etsy shop. Um, so go ahead and check out my Etsy shop and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye!